scarf out of hand spun Angora Rabbit. Two ply, about worsted weight. And this, the warp, is going to be hand spun alpaca, two ply, about sport weight. It's going to be a scarf lift. I was going to use the warping board to measure out the warp, but I decided that I'm going to go ahead and direct warp it. I'm using my Ashford sample at loom. Sample at loom is an 8 inch width loom, and this is the 8 dent reed that came with it. I haven't bought the others, but this is the only one I use with it. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and set it up and direct warp it. Uh, the warp I put into the yarn bowl and I rolled it into a center pull ball. It's going to make it a lot easier for me to warp it. Uh, and then the weft, it doesn't matter. I'm going to wind it onto uh, the shuttle. So I just place this onto the floor, and that's where I'm going to do my warp from the back. I usually uh, use the warping board, as you can see here. Ever since I got the four shaft loom, I've been using the warping board. Uh, but before that, my preferred method of warping for the rigid heddle looms has always been um, direct warping from somewhere across the room. Uh, when I first got that, I used my bed post. And I've already measured out the warp here. So I know how long it is. It's going to be a short scarf lift. I'm not going to bore you with having to watch me warp. Uh, Kate from Ashford already has a really cool video on how to warp with the sample at loom. So I'm just going to go ahead and warp, set up the loom, and then get started. Here I am making a little progress here. I've got 21 passes with the gray angora and four passes with the white, and I'll continue that pattern for a while. Here's the completed angora scarflet. Well, it's not quite complete, but I finished it off the loom. Go ahead and hot wash it so it'll be finished. Lay it out flat to dry. And then I'll determine where I'm going to add uh, the closure at. Probably a closure right here. So it'll be worn that way. <laughs> 